what's happening, Matt and Sash? Seasons greetings. I got to tell you, I've had a lot to hear. What else? Yeah. So anyway, uh, the Black Viking is back and ready to react. And remember when um, I did that reaction video to the guys, you know, trying to get the drunk girl to go home with them? And I'm almost like, this is fake. Something's not right about it. It's fake. It doesn't seem right. Um, well, y'all was telling me, you bunch of you are all agreeing with me, and then it was confirmed in like a news report or something like that. And now these actors got a problem because apparently things didn't go the way they were told they were going to go. So let's check out this Inside Edition clip. And, uh, yeah. Let's go. Come on. Okay. Right now. Right now. Let's yeah. Go. me if I'd be in a video and pretend like I was trying to pick up a drunk girl and it'd be really funny and it's just for some college humor or whatever and I was um I just went along with it you don't need to take a bus to go no but I need to find them I, is it, I think it's that way over the city can you help me where are we gonna go to my house wait but, but that's not but there's a bus right here my house the, the film and the girl, actually, the actress, came up to me and she was like, you know, I've seen you around before. Um, I've seen you in a couple of things. She was like, would you mind acting out a, a role? And I said, well, what is the role and how much are you paying me? So we had spoke. Um, I agreed. Um, they asked me my name. I told them my name, say in front of the camera that we can use this footage. Um, I said yes. And we began to do the skit. Um, and now he put it out and didn't tell anybody what was going on. I was pretty shocked. Uh... I didn't, I didn't ex expect to look like a s sexual predator, you know, I was just acting, so I didn't expect it at all, no. First, I thought that they were going to post that it was fake. So my first reaction was I thought that they were trying to give actors out here a chance to do a skit with a young lady that was going to pretend to be drunk. They never told us what they were going to actually do with it, and they never said that they were going to not say that it wasn't fake. I wouldn't have agreed to it uh, if I knew that they were going to make me look like a sexual predator. Hollywood's one of the biggest, smallest towns, and since I do walk down the boulevard every day, I'm very local. Um, you know, I, I certainly did take in a lot of dirty looks from people that see me every day that totally believed it, you know. My, my whole thing was, um, I'm angry from the reaction mainly of people from, well, I can't get mad at the average person because they didn't know the situation that was going on. So I can't get mad at anybody that logs on and sees this and has their own opinion. What I can say is the filmmakers and the people who actually make it have to be more responsible and convey that message. So they have to be more responsible and say, look, this is just a skit or a scenario of what would happen. And, and the reaction is, actually, for me, being an actor, it actually worked out pretty good in my favor because everybody actually believed it was true. Shame on you for making me look bad. I tell most people, like, if somebody approaches you, make sure you know exactly the median in which they're going to put it in. And if you don't know the median in which they put it in, then don't do it. I've learned that the hard way, trust me. I've had my run-ins with stuff where it didn't go exactly as the people told me it was supposed to go. So, um, you know what the funny thing is? Um, a lot of us really recognize that it was fake. But there's people out there that can't tell parody. They can't tell between, I don't want to call it bad acting, but it's almost, I'm going to almost call it light, act, light, light acting. They weren't really being serious about what they were tr the character they were trying to become or show you on there. As you saw, they were trying to just make it into, the guys thought it was supposed to be something funny. So as you can see, all the guys, that's the reason why they acted the way they do. Did, it was supposed to be funny. It wasn't supposed to be them seriously trying to pick up a girl. That's why to us it looked like they were acting, which is what they were. It looked fake, it didn't look like a guys with a serious motive to take those girls, that girl home. So, you know, um, it's fucked up. And just like he said, make sure before you do anything on TV, media, whatever it is, you know exactly what it's all supposed to be about before you sign on that dotted line and sign them waivers and all that other shit. You know, because then you can't do nothing about it, all right? Um, yeah.
crazy. One million subscribers.